three D.C. landlords sued for discrimination have settled for $10 million. Yeah, the largest of its kind in U.S. history. We first told you about the Darrow Management Group back in 2020. That company owns 15 buildings in some of the city's most affluent neighborhoods. The attorney general accused them of refusing to rent to Section 8 voucher holders, which is illegal in 16 states and the district. Delia Gonsalves has been staying on this story and explains what happens now. A D.C. landlord who once denied charges of discrimination is now paying the city the largest settlement in U.S. history, all because an employee blew the whistle. Carissa Berry, the president of Darrow Management LLC, operates three different companies, Darrow Management, Darrow Realty, and Infinity Real Estate. Together, they own 15 apartment buildings in Northwest. This discrimination perpetuates Jim Crow-era racism, Attorney General Carl Racine says the management company refused to rent to Section 8 voucher holders. According to the OAG, voucher recipients are 95% black, 60% elderly or people with disabilities, and 32% are single mothers. They did not want to have these black single mothers, elderly people in their buildings in wards one, two, and three. In fact, a lawsuit cites Craigslist ads reading no vouchers and an internal email from Carissa Berry where she writes, I'm doing everything I can to reduce, if not eliminate, the Section 8 program from our communities. We reached out to Barry for comment but did not hear back. Besides paying the fee, here are the terms of the deal she made with the city. It requires the company to dissolve its business in 18 months, and Barry must give up her real estate license for 15 years. We're not just putting so-called money behind affordable housing. We're acting. And in a seeming attack against the administration, A.G. Racine said this settlement is a win in the fight against landlords and developers willing to break the law to line their pockets. Too often we hear from powerful developers. They're reflected in almost everything that happens in this city, including who gets elected. We reach out to the mayor for comment and are still waiting to hear back. Delia Gonsalves, WUSA 9.